you are talking about something you don't know anything about. I read Huck Finn in high school. Should I start a podcast on Huck Finn and talk about it day in, day out and never read it again and just try to rely on my memory and and going here and there and picking out certain passages and paragraphs from Huck Finn? It'd be a lot easier to take your criticism of the Book of Mormon seriously if you were like reading it at least, you know, once every couple years. I have read the Book of Mormon over 50 times in my life. I literally kept count. And that includes me reading it 15 times as a missionary. For me, it's been less than four years since I've read it cover to cover. But let's take a look. Yep, Deuteroy Isaiah is still in here. Yep, the story of Nephi still parallels Moses' in exactly the same order. Yep, the long ending of Mark is still in here. Well, the Sermon on the Mount is still in here. This story of King Lamoni still has the exact unique phrase that's only found in the story of Lazarus. It still has all the anachronisms. It's still racist. Nephi still chops off Laban's head because he wants to steal his book. And by the way, that story was used to help the Lafferty brothers justify murdering their sister-in-law. It still has over 5,000 changes to the text. I guess Joseph Smith's seer stone was having glitches. The thing is, reading the Book of Mormon again as someone who has left the church, it won't make any of these problems go away. I think that feeling that you got to read both things simultaneously, anti-Mormon literature with Mormon literature, was a fear that your whole worldview might be wrong.